Rising from humble origins, Marius won fame as a general, defeating the Numidians, the Celts, and the Teutons. Some would eventually call him the third founder of Rome. For most of his life, Marius' politics aligned him with the populist reformers of his day, which eventually led him into conflict against Sulla, a fellow general and member of the conservative faction known as the Optimates. After a dispute between the two over a military command, Sulla became the first Roman to march on the capital under arms, temporarily defeating Marius' forces, though Marius and the Populares would eventually regain control and Marius would die peacefully during his seventh consulship. However, Sulla succeeded in a second power grab after Marius' death and instituted himself as dictator, 